All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free-to-play Mystery Shard only video. Today is a viewer request video. We're going to be talking about energy conservation, how to keep energy, how to get energy, the best ways to find energy. Basically, we're just looking at how do I keep playing the game without having to spend money or anything else. All right. So first thing we're going to talk about quests. Every single day, you should be doing quests. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you're not doing your daily quests every single day, you will be missing out on tons of energy. So every single day, you're going to get this. All right. You're going to fight in the classic arena five times, and you get an energy refill there. So that's an easy one. Weekly, you ascend a champion or upgrade a champion to rank four. That is two energy refills right there. So we're at three energy refills. In here, uh, classic arena, you got to fight in there 200, uh, 150 times. Now, this one is a little bit harder to get, obviously, and you only get it basically once a month. However, if you're not fighting in the classic arena, you're not going to get this. You're not going to get all the rewards that come with this. There's gems that come in here. So you definitely want to be doing this. So that's 200 energy right here every single month. And all this stuff adds up. It's not like one place is going to give you all the energy. It's basically just make sure you're doing these things. All right, advanced quests. Every single day, you're going to complete all advanced quests. You're going to get an energy refill. So that's four energy refills you can get. Now, there is another one. Usually, it's like Tag Team Arena. Basically, you have to do something silly, like, you know, either fight, like, with uh, an affinity team or fight with one faction or something like that. Beat a team that's higher. Like, there's always some kind of really weird thing in here that you got to do and you get 50 energy for that so basically just from doing advanced quests you should basically be getting about i mean once you're at my level 180 energy every day but at lower level whatever your energy max is plus 50 so you'll be getting this every single day now sidebar to this advanced quests are insanely hard to beat in the beginning of the game and i don't mean hard in the sense like oh i, I can't do it because it's rough no, I mean, like, hard to do because you don't, just don't have the heroes or the things you need to do it. So some of these will be ascend. You know, you might get ascend an artifact. You might not be able to beat the Sand Devil. One might be fight with a team of one from every affinity. You might not have a void hero. Like, these are things that you just may not have in the beginning of the game, and you won't be able to finish it. And you might have one where it says use 12 crypt keys, and you're not paying attention. This has happened to me many times. And then you'll use all your keys and then realize that one of the other quests is for beating a Faction Wars boss. You might have just started and might not be able to beat a Faction War boss in the faction that you're on for that current day, so you may miss out on that energy. It happens all the time in the first few months. Do not sweat. Eventually, you'll be able to do these easily. I don't have a problem with these. I finish them every single day now. They're all easy, all right? But just know in the beginning, it will be a little rough. So Quest is really a good way to get energy, especially advanced, every single day. Daily and advanced will basically get you, what, one, two, and another 50. So two refills plus 50. And then you'll have your weekly, which gives you two refills, and your monthly, which gives you 200 energy. So right there, you've got a ton of energy. Now, that's the first thing. Second way to get energy is missions. Now, missions are a little bit rougher, and the further on you get in the game, you know, the harder it's going to be to get to these things. But in the beginning, like when you're first doing, when you're doing this first set before Arbiter, all these sets, you're going to get a ton of energy just for beating dungeons and doing things. So if you're not doing these quests, you're going to be missing out on a ton of energy. You basically want to use the beginning missions as a way to continually give you energy and keep filling you up while you get to the point where you can finish advanced quests every day. I mean, on average, I think I get somewhere around a thousand energy per day minimum. So yeah, that's a big, it's a big, it's a big difference between that and the beginning of the game when you only have like a max of like 50 energy. All right. So make sure you're doing every single mission you have, regardless of how dumb it is, just do it. Even if it uses half your energy to get double the energy. Yeah. You're going to waste half your energy getting the, the full energy, but you know what? At least you're getting, you're coming out net positive. So just do it. And it's going to help you get to the next quests anyway. Like this one right here. If I get here, right here, I get an energy refill and I get 150 for these two. See? So you want to make sure that you can do these quests. So missions, very important that you're following through on those to get the energy. The next one would be the thing that is no longer here. 
there's challenges. Now, I don't have it anymore because I finished them, so I practice what I preach. Some of these challenges are ridiculously stupid. However, in the beginning, you're going to want to do them anyway. Like some of them are like get an accessory or sorry, not an accessory, like a, a boot or a glove or an armor that has an attack stat. There's going to be get a four star piece of gear from, you know, insert campaign area here. There's going to be a bunch of dumb ones that are going to waste a bunch of energy. However, if you're doing two things at once, like, you know, leveling your food heroes to build up Kale or to build up your other heroes, then you're not wasting energy to get these things done. You're getting silver, you're getting experience, and you're going to finish the quest to get the energy. Some of these missions are really easy. Like, I think one of them, or one or two of them is just equipping a hero with a certain gear. And you do that and you get almost three or 400 energy just from finishing those quest, those missions. All right. So don't sleep on challenges those are very important finish them you get shards you get books you get energy you get silver most of it is kind of a almost a waste but yes yeah, some of it will be worth it like the books and the energy so don't skip out on challenges so that's number three so so far we've got missions quests challenges very important other energy so where do you get energy from tournaments so most tournaments are really dumb all right most of these you're probably not going to do in their entirety because some of them just cost too much too much energy to finish. Now this is a bad example since it's you know it's one that I'm not really doing. There's no energy here, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't technically do it. If it's an easy tournament and you're doing the area anyway, what you're going to want to do is probably get in this sweet spot somewhere between rank seven and eight. All right, if you do that and then go to bed, usually what happens is these guys get crazy and try to beat you. So what will happen is, is you'll fall to 9 or 10, in which case you get 100 to 150 energy for coming in 8th place. Which, to be honest, I'll take that over a shard any day. I'd rather have this energy or these gems. And if that doesn't happen, then you get gems, which you can use to buy energy. So there you go. Win-win situation. All right. So anytime you have a tournament like this, make sure you're at least trying to get into this little area. All right. But like I said, only do ones that you're really going to be working on. Like I'm not touching this one. As you can see, I have zero. I'm not going to go in and waste. This is kind of low 55. So I could honestly just go run fire night twice and probably get somewhere in this range two or three times. All right. And we'll have a ranking. Now we have two days left on this one. So I would probably wait until the last day just to see where it is. Unless, like I said, unless you're farming it already, but yeah, you could easily get energy here. And sometimes you'll get it as the reward. So that's good too. Events, same thing. So Dungeon Divers. Now I do this anyway because I'm leveling. There was no energy in this one. Most of these events and tournaments, you have energy somewhere within the first three boxes. You're going to want to look for those tournaments because they're very important and they give you energy. So like right here, I've been upgrading my gear anyway. We have 17 hours. If I want to, I might consider going into this area. But to be honest, this is a lot of silver just to get 150 energy. So I wouldn't go past this first rung unless you're unless you're already upgrading gear and have a ton of silver. Because what's going to happen is you'll just get somewhere around here and then miss out on it. Not worth it. All right, so this one I'm probably not going to do. I'm trying to save silver, so we're not going to keep moving forward on this. But I did get 130 energy just from leveling up gear that I was already doing. So this is something you want to look for also. There's also a fusion event that always happens where you basically just either summon like 10 times or 20 times and everybody gets the rewards regardless and you'll get a ton of free stuff. So look for those. Those are very important. Keep going with those because they're easy. You literally just go and summon 10 mystery shards and you get it. All right. So that's four. Oh, we'll close this. Number five, the arena. Everyone loves the arena. You should be doing tag team arena every single day, every single day. I don't know if I said it enough. Every single day, go in here, just do this. Fight the easy team. Go in, do a battle. You should be using all of your arena tokens every single day. This goes for regular arena. This goes for tag team arena, all of them. Fight the lowest fight you can. Fight fights that you can win. Make sure you get gold bars from the tag team and make sure you get your medals so that you can upgrade your, your great hall from the arena. However, the regular arena doesn't really come into this video because you don't really get energy from it. So unless you are doing an arena tournament, in which case you do. So I would just do it anyway. Now you do this every day and eventually you'll start buying things. So as you can see, all of my things are on cooldown, my book, my shard and my energy. 
I don't really waste time with any of this other stuff. Once in a while, I'll buy a chicken. Sometimes I'll buy a brew if I'm like one brew off from getting something I need and my energy's dead, uh, dead, I'll buy a brew. But otherwise, these are the only three things I buy. And for the first few months, I never bought an Ancient Shard. This is, I think, the third or fourth maybe that I've bought from this. Uh, I usually only buy the book and the energy. And then, obviously, you're going to want to buy Drekstar, which is not here anymore because I own him. But yes, you want to be buying that. But otherwise, this should be bought every single time it pops up. Every single time. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're getting Drekstar. It doesn't matter. 300 energy is a lot of energy to get. This is a big one. Make sure you get it. All right. So this is a good, a good shop for that. Close this. That's five. Number six, clan shop. I feel like nobody even knows this thing existed. I think I've missed this thing for probably about four months. I honestly had no idea it was here. And that was about the first time I played. And then I was like, what the hell is this? And I just randomly found it one day. I think I was watching a video and somebody showed me about it. And I'm like, what is this? But yeah, most people don't know this, but there are clan quests in your clan thing. Look at this. And you can do these quests and you get these awesome coins. All right. Now there's basic, expert, elite. Elite is very hard. Some of them might be easier for others. It just depends on what heroes you have and what you're doing. Like this one. De uh, defeat boss of Fire Knight's Castle before he takes a turn. That's a pretty rough one unless you have a full turn meter reduction team. So that's going to be hard for you. Now, the ones that I take now as, as being a little bit further along, I do these. I do the 100 HP burns on Spider's Den because it literally I only have to fight three times and I get 350 coins. Place 10 simultaneous debuffs on any on insert boss here. I usually do Fire Knight and Ice Golem because they're really easy. You just throw Kale, um... What's their name? Not Spirit Host. Uh, Frozen Banshee and Grave Chill. They're all poisoners. And then Syl, she does speed down, smite, all that. And then, yeah, you throw them all in the fight on stage 15, and you get a ton of debuffs in five seconds, and you win this in one fight. So that's why I do that. Now, for you, earlier on, you might be doing things like, here, place 10 simultaneous debuffs. That might not be too bad, because stage 10 isn't so hard. You might just bring Kale and whoever has debuffs on them. Throw them in the fight, make sure they get 10 things, and when you're good. Win a rare shield from a campaign battle. This has to be from a normal campaign battle. This can't be from the, from, um, sorry, it has to be from a boss fight. That's what I was trying to say. You can't win this in a normal uh, part of the campaign. You have to go into a boss area to do it. This could conceivably take up a lot of energy, just so you know, but if you're lucky and you fight on normal mode, in like the, whatever the first boss or whatever boss you want to fight in, whatever hero you might be farming that day. Uh, it's only five energy a run, so you do 20 runs. You know, it's 100 energy. Hopefully you get the coins. It's, that's, it's a luck shot. So you might get it, you might not. Uh, but yeah, go through these and make sure they're ones that you can finish. All right, that's all, that's all I'm going to say on this right now. This isn't a clan shop kind of uh, tutorial, but just make sure you do ones that you can. If you have to only do basic, I mean, to be honest, there's ones you can do in expert and elite from the first day you start playing. So as long as they aren't taken, take them. But like upgrade 100 on common champions, like this you're not going to finish in the beginning of the game. You just don't have the energy for it. So don't do that. Don't set yourself up for failure. All right? Do these. And then you go into clan shop. Now, this rotates every week. Sometimes, just sometimes, there will be energy in here, and it'll cost 100 coins, and you can buy 10 of them. So that's literally 1,000 energy that you can buy from the shop when it pops up, if you get the, the coins, right? Now, you're going to want to start eventually buying these heroes, but to be honest, me personally, it didn't really affect me so much. I'm two weeks away from getting her, and I'm probably about another 10 weeks away from getting him. So she would be first. However, if you want, which is what I did, for the first month or two, I only bought the energy and books because you want to get those heroes that you currently own built up. She's going to take a lot longer to get, I mean, even if you're getting her every single week, she takes what? You have to get five a day. So she's going to take 25 weeks to get. Did I do the math right? No, 20 weeks to get. All right. So you're looking at basically five months. So you can start investing in five months from now, or you can build up your heroes that you currently own and then start building her up and get her maybe a month later than you normally would. That's what I did. You can do whatever you want. However, I think energy and the books and getting all your skills maxed on all your heroes is probably your best bet in the beginning of the game. But... Once again, do what you like. So this is a great way to get energy. That's number six. Close that out. All right. Promo codes. You should be looking for promo codes all the time. All right. That is number seven. They just they just popped one. Actually, if you want, you can watch my stream from today, which will, well, not today. 
when you watch this, it'll actually be from Wednesday, uh, day 262, I think it is. Uh, there's a new code that came out, Raid Ready, uh, or Ready Raid, whatever the hell it was. I, like I said, it was on the thing. It was on my video. But every time these codes come out, usually you'll get some energy. Sometimes you'll get 100. Sometimes you get 400. Sometimes you'll get five or six or 10 refills. And it's a huge boost to your account to help you move ahead and get edit, get um, EXP. All right. So go online, check promo codes whenever you can. Does it have to be every day? No, they usually don't drop one every single other day. Sometimes they'll have like times where they'll drop one every couple days, where it's like an event. It has happened, but don't expect that. We did get two promo codes, I think, in like a week right now. So that's something you want to look forward to. So check online, look at all the videos, find those promo codes. They're very rare, but find them and then you can get energy. I mean, I've probably gotten at least five to 10,000 minimum energy just from promo codes over the last, you know, whatever, eight months. So they, they come out enough where you're going to get energy, right? That's a big, big one. So don't, don't do, don't not do that. Look online, get that energy. Now, the other thing is every single day you log in, you get energy from here. If you're not logging in for an hour every day, you're not going to get this. All right. Now, if you're playing the game regularly, more than likely you're going to get this. All right. And that's going to help you get another energy refill. If you're not going to play, I, I've done this before. I'll just put the game on auto and then I'll go out and do something. And by the time I come back, an hour or so has passed because I had to get something done. And even though I didn't technically play, I got my energy refill. So if you're not going to have time to play, just leave the game on or something while you go shower and like do little things. That way you can at least get to that 60 minutes. It's really important that you get that energy refill every single day. You're looking at, you know, in my case, 130 energy every single day times 10 is what? 1300 energy that I'm getting every 10 days. So every month you're looking at what? 3000, almost 4000 energy that I'm getting a month from just this one source. See, so every energy refill that you can get every day is another added on to that number. I'm sure I could do a calculation. I'm just not going to. All right. But there's a lot of energy to be had. All right. So that's another one. All right. Let's look at, let's see what we're at now. So we got one, two challenges. We've got the login. All right. That's four. You've got tag team arena. That's five. You've got tournaments. That's six. You've got the clan shop. That's seven. There's a lot of energy in here. <laughs> All right. There's another one. Now, sometimes you're going to get a, well, every day you're going to get a special box. All right. I know that sounds weird, right? A special box. You're going to get a special box and basically it's in the shop and sometimes it's energy. So you get it's in limited specials. You get one every day. It's like, you know, change between, you know, free pack, you know, fun pack, backpack, whatever it's called that day. And you basically click it and you get it for free. Usually you'll get silver, you'll get brews, you'll get, uh, I don't know, like charms. And then sometimes you'll get energy. Make sure you log in long enough to get this and play the game just long enough for that to pop up and get that energy refill. All right. It's usually like every whatever, maybe usually like one or two or three days that it'll be energy. I don't know the actual rotation, but yeah, just log in and you get this awesome energy. Oh yeah. And promo codes. That was eight. That was eight. I knew there was an eight. So this would be nine. All right. That's another place to get energy. So don't, you got to play is basically the point of this whole thing. You've got to play the game in order to get the energy. All right. Next thing you can do is do this. Put your put your heroes in the sparring pit so that they gain levels by themselves. And that way you don't have to waste energy to get your level 40s max. See, that's a fun one. All right. Another way to get energy. Number 10. This one is nice. So, and it's one that it's funny because you wouldn't think of it, but it's there. It's something you'll probably see. All right. So, Every time you log in, you should be using all your energy. When you log off, you should have zero energy. As you can see, I have 130 energy right now. So as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to go blow all that energy before I log off and stop playing for the, for a while. All right. Now I play at night because that's when the reset happens for me. So I usually play around eight o'clock and I'll get my dailies done, do all that, finish all my energy off. I'll blow through. Sometimes I'll save energy from the quests and from 
the login, like I'll just collect everything but the energy if I don't have time at night. You can do that. Like you can just skip it. Just click this, click this, and don't click this. Save it all. That's fine. Just save it. And if you're better, if you're better off later on tomorrow, you know, then just use the energy tomorrow. That's fine. But don't pull it all. Because if you don't have time, you're just gonna have that energy sitting there. So when I log off at night, I have zero energy left. When I wake up in the morning, guess what I have? Full energy. All right. Then I'll waste all my energy in the morning and then use whatever potions I didn't use the day before if I have time. And then I will wait until the middle of the day when I log in again. I'll have full energy again. And then I'll use it all. And then I log in back at eight o'clock. So usually I'll log in at least three times a day just to kind of check it out and make sure I just blow through my energy. I usually just farm campaign for like, it's a seven second farm. So you can blow through that energy in like five, 10 minutes. It's not even like, it's like, it's not like I'm like, oh, I got to log in for an hour every you know, three times a day. It's nothing like that. Farm it out. Get it. Get your campaign farmer if you don't have one. I think I have a video about it. I don't, I'm not sure. I may do a separate video about campaign farmers, but I know I did do it. I put it in one of my videos. Um, so that's 130 energy for me specifically. For you, it might be between 50 and 100. I don't know. Depends on how far along you are. But for me, I get 260 energy. Sorry, 390 energy just from passive energy. All right. And this is a big one that a lot of people will miss. So every single day. So the morning. So at night, I finish. The morning, I get 130. The afternoon, I get 130. And then when I log in at night, I get 130. So yes, 390 energy every single day that passively regenerates. All right. Do the math on that. That means every 10 days, I'm getting 4,000 energy just from doing that. That means I get 1,200, sorry, 12,000 energy every month just from passive. How crazy is that? This is where a lot of players will go wrong. They'll just hoard energy. They'll pull all their potions. They'll keep it up there. And then they wonder why they're not leveling fast. All right. Passive energy. That's why. The passive energy is the most effective way of keeping your character moving and making sure that you can get your energy back and making sure you can level your heroes and get all your gear and all the other stuff. So passive energy. I'm going to say it again. Passive freaking energy is the best way to make sure you are constantly able to play the game and keep your characters moving. Now, you might be able to get almost three or four if you log in more. I'm not doing that because I I, I don't spend my whole life in the game. I just do it for the videos and because I enjoy it. So I'm not going to play this game for eight hours a day. All right. Except today because I have to play it to make this video. <laughs> but yeah, three times a day and you can get 12,000 a month. Look at that. That's a pretty good investment. I think a pretty good investment and you get this one gem. All right. Now there is, I think there was one more thing that I actually forgot to mention about energy and I'm trying to remember what the heck it was. Oh, yes. Clan check in. Make sure you're checking into your clan every day um, that you can get energy from checking into your clan. All right. Sometimes it's silver. Sometimes it's energy. Just make sure that you're checking in every day. OK, check in. It's going to come up here and you just get your little reward from the box. OK, so check in from there. And that's another little energy source. So let's just recap so that I can remember all these. So basically, you've got missions one. Quests, two. Challenges, three. You've got your daily log, your logging in time. All right. That's f four, right? No, wait, one, two, three, four. That's four. <laughs> We're a mess. So we got four there. Passive is five. You've got tournaments is six. You've got tag team arena is seven. Clan boss is eight. You've got, excuse me, you've got the clan login box. All right. That's basically a nine. We'll call it that. We'll call it nine. That's fine. All right. And you've got, did we say passive? I lost it. See, I'm, I have so many ideas on how to get energy that I've forgotten them all. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, yeah, just either way, there's a lot. All right. There's a lot of ways to get energy. That's the whole point of this video. I like to have fun with it, but that's basically how I keep my game moving and how I get everything going. All right. Um, essentially, just keep playing. If, if you play enough and you get a promo code, there was, a, there was the other one. So if you do promo codes, you do all this stuff, you get the energy and then energy is the lifeblood. Like literally it's the lifeblood of this game. If you can't play, 
you can't level, you can't get your gear, you can't get all your stuff, you can't get silver, you can't do any of that. All right, so make sure you keep your energy in check. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, if you like this rambling and how I don't know what the hell I'm talking about whenever I do these videos, feel free to leave a comment. Tell me about it. I'm fine. I like I like constructive criticism, and I also like getting yelled at that I'm a bonehead, that uh, you know I, I'm terrible at the game. I like that. You know, basically what? Any news is good news is really how how I feel about it. All right. So if this helped you, let me know. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, uh, do a dance. Tell your friends that you did a dance and then subscribe. Whatever you want to do. Live your life and I'll be happy. All right. So this is 10 ways to get your energy, even though I think it was 11. Keep your energy moving. All right. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. You guys take care.